Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today we will do the second part of Calicut University MA English entrance question paper of this year itself, 2022. Yesterday we covered 23 questions. Today we will start from question number 24. Let us proceed to the video now. And please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel. Here we start with question number 24. When the first letters of each line of poem spell out a word, it is called what? The correct answer is acrostic. An acrostic is a poem or other composition just make the first letter of each word or each line spells out a word itself and becomes a message. This is a very famous acrostic poem by Edgar Allan Poe. His poetry ka naam hi hai, an acrostic. And if you will see the first alphabet of each line, it will make uh, a meaningful thing. Yaha par hamara Elizabeth create ho E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H. Next question is about Ellen Ginsberg. Ellen Ginsberg is a dash poet. The correct answer here is beat poet. Ellen Gilsberg, who was American poet and writer, the, as a student at Columbia University in 1940s. The Beat Generation was a literary moment started by a group of authors whose work uh, explored and influenced American culture and politics in the post-World War era, after 1945, the end of Second World War. One of the most respected beat writers and acclaimed American poet of his generation was this person, Ellen Ginsberg. Next question, question number 26 asks, what is hagiography? Hagiography is life of saintly people. Option A is the right answer. A hagiography is a biography of a saint or uh, a religious leader as well as by extension an adultery uh, an idealized biography of a founder, saint, monk, nun, or any kind of iconic figure in the religious world. That is called hagiography. Next question, question 27. The period of Queen Victoria that I think almost each one of us know about it. It was from 1837 to 1901, named after the Queen Victoria who reigned during this period. This question, question number 28, which of the following awards is not given to Indian English writers? Is it Booker? Is it Sahitya Academy? Is it Gyan Peet? Or is it uh, Whitbit Prize? Whitbit Prize actually is the one uh, which was taken over uh, by Costa Award after 2005. And Costa Book Awards are a series of literary awards given to books by authors based in the UK and Ireland. United Kingdom or Ireland may based writers ko hi milta hai ye prize and they were known as Whitbit uh, Book Awards until 2005 after which Costa Coffee, a subsidiary, uh, took over it and now we know it as Costa Awards. Next question is regarding English language dictionary. Sabse pehli, the first authoritative English dictionary who made it. The correct answer is option B, Samuel Johnson. A dictionary of English language sometimes published as even Johnson's dictionary was published in 1755 written by Samuel Johnson. 1755, please do learn, remember the year as well. Next question, dash was the first sonnet sequence in English. The correct answer here is option B, Philip Sidney's Estrophel and Stella. Sydney ka Estrophel and Stella or Spencer ke Emirati, they were written uh, quite close to each other. This one in 1595, this one published in 1591. So this being the first one, 1591 is the right answer. Next question, when one says someone is no more or that someone has breathed last, the speaker is resorting to the correct answer is euphemism. Euphemism is a speech or piece of writing that says good things about something, somebody, some place, and uh, it is in uh, it is uh, soft words, harmonious words or expressions used in place of one that can be unpleasant or harsh. Next question: Dash is the Latin for a god from machine. The correct answer is option D, Deus Ex Machina. 
Deus Ex Machina is a plot device whereby a seemingly unsolvable problem in a story is suddenly and abruptly resolved as if God has intervened. Next question, question number 23, it is about Sylvia Plath. It asks about the quality of Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath is a dash poet. The correct answer is confessional poet. Confessional poet is the one who uses uh, too much biographical concepts in the poetry and tells us more about trauma, uh, trial and tribulations faced by that person. So we call the genre confessional poetry. One of the most famous confessional poet, I must say, is Sylvia Plath. And if we talk about any Indian confessional writer, then we can take the name of Kamla Das. Next question, question 34, which of the following is not a comedy? Correct answer here is King Deal. Rest of these much ado about nothing, Midsummer Night's Dream, Twelfth Night. All these are romantic comedies. This is Shakespeare's King Lear, which is not a comedy. It features a noble born protagonist who makes a fatal mistake and suffers afterward. Next question. The poem, The Wasteland, is dedicated to... The correct answer here is Ezra Pound. This is a very long, 433 lines long, uh, five parts poetry, which was dedicated to the poet's very best friend, Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound helped uh, T.S. Eliot to condense the original manuscript to nearly half its size, and it was one of the most influential works of 20th century, I must say. Next question, question 36, the writer who first used blank verse in English. Correct answer is option C, Earl of Syria. Blank verse first appeared in 16th century Italy during the Renaissance and adaptation of unrhymed poetry from ancient Greece and Rome. And it was later introduced to England in the 1550s by Henry Howard uh, in real name, the Earl of Syria is his position with his translation of Virgil's Aeneid. Virgil ke Aeneid ki inhone translation ki thi. After that, blank verse was introduced in English poetry. Next question, who wrote Biographia Literaria? The correct answer is S.T. Coleridge. It is the biography of S.T. Coleridge, which was published in 1817. Next question, which of the following is not a novel by Jane Austen. So whenever you read the question paper, now read it with extreme care, extreme concentration. Do not ever miss the words like not or any other negative. Sometimes what happens that we just see a word in a question uh, like Jane Austen. Oh, Jane Austen, Mansfield Park. Then we look at only the first option. Okay, it must be Mansfield Park, but that is not the right thing. Please read this not. Which novel is not written by Jane Austen, that is the question, and the correct answer here is Daniel Deronda, which is a novel written by Marianne Evans under the pen name George Eliot, and it got published in 1876. Next question, who won the Booker of Bookers? The correct answer is Salman Rushdie. The best of Booker is special prize awarded in commemoration of the Booker Prize 40th anniversary, and that was given to Midnight Children and Salman Rushdie. Next question, question number 40, who ruled England from 1660 to 1685? The correct answer here is Charles II during restoration period. Charles II spent the next nine years in exile after the execution of his father Charles I and until 1660 he was um, invited back to London and restored to his father's throne and Charles died after a stroke in 1685. Next question. Home, the altar and Easter wing are known as what? The correct answer here is correct answer is pattern poem. Option number A. Pattern poetry also called figure poetry. If you get an option in exam, figure poem, then also uh, you can choose that or your or even you can choose shaped verse. A verse in which the typography of lines are arranged in an unusual configuration, usually to convey or extend the emotional content of the words. So these kind of poetry are called pattern poems. Next question, question 42. 
words having the same spelling or pronunciation but different meaning the correct answer is homonym because homonym has two major categories homophone and homograph homophone are the words that sound the same but are different in meaning and homograph are the words that are spelled the same but differ in meaning or pronunciation but homonym combines the both homophone and homograph in it and correct answer hence is homonym Next question 43. A distinct unit of sound in the specified language that distinguishes one word from another is called phoneme. Phoneme are the smallest units of sound in language. Every language has a number of distinctive sounds and sounds units, and every single sound and sound unit is called phoneme, and it can bring about a difference in meaning as well. Next question Bertolt Brecht is associated with. Correct answer, epic theater. Bertolt Brecht was a very famous German theater practitioner and playwright. Um, and this epic theater was a mid uh, 20th century moment uh, in which a number of practitioners who responded to the political climate of the time through the creation of new political dramas were there. And one of them was this personality, Bertolt Brecht. Next question, Matthew Arnold called his elegy on Thyrus's a monodic. The correct answer is A.H. Klu. Thyrus is a monody to commemorate the author's friend, author High Klu, among the major Victorian writers. And Matthew Arnold is unique in that his reputation rests equally upon his poetry and his criticism as well. Next question is related to feminism, the subjection of women. Who has written it? The correct answer here is J.S. Mill. The subjection of women is an essay by English philosopher, political economist, and civil servant John Stuart Mill, which was published in 1869. Please do not even forget the year. Next question. The inaugural JCB Prize for Literature was given to the novel. Which novel? The correct answer here is Jasmine Days. JCB Prize for Literature is an Indian literary award established in 2018. It was awarded, it is awarded annually um, with a sum of 2,50,000. Uh, and this much prize is given to a distinguished work of fiction by an, Indian, uh, by an Indian writer working in English or translated fiction by an Indian writer. The winners are announced each November with short lists in October and long lists in September. It has been called India's most valuable literature prize and Malayalam author Benjamin has begged the inaugural JCB prize for literature for his book Jasmine Days, which explores the lives of South Asians in the Middle East. Option A, the right answer. Next question, question number 48. Bertha Rochester is a character in which of the following? The correct answer is option C, Jane Eyre. Bertha Rochester is a fictional character in Charlotte Bronte's 1847 novel Jane Eyre and she is described as the violently insane mad first wife of Edward Rochester, the male protagonist of her story. Uh, and uh, Edward Rochester moved her to Thornfield Hall and locked her in a room at the third floor. Next question, question number 49. The Great Gatsby was written by which writer? The correct answer is option A. F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Great Gatsby, very famous 1925 novel by American writer Fitzgerald set in the jazz age in New York City and the novel depicts the first person narration by Nick Carraway. Next question. A term that denotes types or classes of literature? The correct answer is option A, genre. A particular type or style of literature, art, film, or even music that you can recognize because of its special characteristics that is called genre. After that, you were supposed to write some short notes. Uh, one topic was Memesis and the another topic was the fiction of Bulkaraj Anand Memesis. All of us know is the another name of imitation or mickery through which artists portray the world. And uh, the fiction of Bulkaraj Anand, we know very much about Untouchable and Kuli. These kind of fictions which you have read of Bulkaraj Anand that could be mentioned in this.
answer and the uh, type, the genre of the writings of Mulkaraj Anand, the characteristics could also be mentioned. So that is it for this paper. Thanks a lot for watching. Best of luck for your exams and please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel. Keep watching the channel as well. You will keep getting important uh, MCQs, important mock videos here to practice for your competitive exams.